Welcome to uh, Poetry and Prius, episode uh, 72. It's one of the pandemic uh, things. Um, you know, sometimes we just need some generosity to bring everyone together. So this is Gate A4 by Na Naomi Shabnai. Wandering around the Albuquerque Airport Terminal after learning my flight had been delayed for four hours, I heard the announcement. If anyone in the vicinity of Gate A4 understands any Arabic, please come to the gate immediately. Well, one pauses these days. Gate A4 was my own gate. I went there. An older woman in full traditional Palestine embroidered dress, just like my grandma wore, was crumbled to the floor wailing, help. The flight agent talked to her. What is her problem? We told her the flight was going to be late and she did this. I stopped and put my arm around the woman and spoke hotly. Shidoa, Shubiuk, Habi Viti, Sani Swatswe, Fin Fadlik, Shubit Siwi. The minute she heard any word she knew, however poorly used, she stopped crying. She thought the flight had been canceled entirely. She needed to be in El Paso for a major medical treatment the next day. I said, no, we're fine. You'll get there just later. Who's picking you up? Let's call him. We called her son. I spoke with him in English. I told him I would stay with his mother till we got on the plane and, and ride next to her. She talked to him. Then we called her other sons, just for the fun of it. Then we called my dad, and he, and he and she spoke for a while in Arabic, and found, of course, they had ten shared friends. Then I thought, just for the heck of all, why not call some Palestine poets I knew? Let them chat with her. This all took up two hours. She was laughing a lot by then, telling of her life, patting my knee, answering questions. She had pulled a sack of homemade... Mamour cookies, little power sugar with crummy mounds stuffed with dates and nuts from her bag and was offering them to all the women at the gate. To my amazement, not a single woman declined one. It was like a sacrament. The traveler from Argentina, the mom from California, the lovely woman from Laredo, we all covered with the same powdered sugar and smiling. There is no better, better cookie. And then the airline broke out free apple juice from huge coolers and two little girls from our flight ran around serving it and they were covered in powdered sugar too and I noticed my new best friend by now we were holding hands and a potted plant poking out of her bag something municipal thing with green furry leaves such an old country tradition always carry a plant always stay rooted to somewhere I looked around the gate of the late and weary ones and I thought, this is the world I want to live in, the shared world. Not a single person at the gate, once the, the crying of confusion stopped, seemed apprehensive about the other person. They took the cookies. I wanted to hug all those other women too. This still can happen anywhere. Not everything is lost. Thank you, Naomi, for that. Have a great day. Subscribe to my channel. I'll try to be a little bit more regular. Thank you.